So now let's see how we can work around with the RGB mixer inside of DaVinci Resolve. So here you can see that I already have a footage right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and select out another footage that is the third footage right here, just like this. And then let's go around and change around the color uh, for this by using the RGB mixer. So to access that, you can go around and click on this button right here and you can see the red um, output, the green output and the blue output and the level as you can see just like this. So now if I were to go around onto the red output and click and drag around, you can see that I can directly control out the red channel and it increases out the green and blue channel when I actually do this. So I can go around and increase it and you can see that the red of the uh, uh, the video footage right here increases as I increase or decrease this value right here. So similarly, what I can do is I can go around, work around with the green channel right here. You can decrease the green or increase the level of green as you can see. And you can go around, work around with the blue channel to make it more cool or warm as you can see just like this as well. For each of the channel, as you can see, you can work around with the green right here, as you can see. You can increase out, let's see, the green channel from over here on the red output as well, just like this. So you can go around, increase out the uh, increase out the green for the red, as you can see right here, and the blue over here, just like this as well. And once you do that, it is more red on all of the spectrum, as you can see. You can make the green pops more reddish, as you can see, just like this, or you can go around and add more red over here. But if I were to increase it, you can see that more um, uh, like uh, the, red, the green part become red as well. Similarly, if I were to increase the blue, then the blue uh, becomes more intense. You can work around with the greens right here, as you can see. You can go around with the red output for the green as well, and you can go around with the blue output over here, just like this as well. So so this is another way to color correct as you can see where you can go around and control out individual red green and blue channels as you can see you can click to reset as well and change around the value to add in a bit of color on all of them just like this so that is how you can work around with the rgb mixer and you can also go around and make everything monochrome right here as you can see and change around the red output which changes out the red color on the picture right here and as i increase you can see that it affects out the redness of the picture right here and adds in, let's say, for example, more brighter areas onto the areas where there are red color applied. You can go around with the green and that controls the bushes, which are originally green, as you can see. So you can really control out the brightness of the bushes and work around with the blue over here, just like this as well, and balance everything out. So even when you are working with monochrome right here, just like this, uh, what you can do is you can simply go around and then control out individual color spectrum to ba balance out the black and white as well. If you were to turn off the preserved luminosity right here, then it won't actually balance out the luminosity. When you actually enable this, as I increase this, you can see that everything gets balanced out. But if I were to disable this, then it won't actually balance out everything right here. It will let everything to be overblown as well. This is true even when you're working with the uh, color version right here. As I increase the values right here, you can see that it actually balances out the rest of the uh, spectrums right here, just like this on the luminance spectrum. So that is how you can work around with the RGB mixer inside of DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.